All right, okay. we're gonna we're gonna take a short break real quick, and we will be right back. Once again, we are back. We're just waiting to get this next match set up for you guys. Uh, we've had some pretty crazy matches so far, though. Yeah, um, it's definitely one of the more exciting tournaments. And as we found out at the beginning of the tournament, with dampening kicking at five minutes, could have an effect on the way these teams are playing. Um, it, it definitely feels like momentum is kicking in way faster. It feels more exciting to watch. At the same time, I kind of feel bad for the teams that might not be prepared for that. But um, as far as the game's going so far, there's gonna there's been a lot of n upsets. I mean, all of the teams that have been playing the best have been winning. Um, not to say that no one isn't um, playing, the losers aren't playing well as well, um, but we're seeing how well these teams can execute strategy. Um, the RMP knows what they're doing. Um, swapping on Iron Bark, catching people off guard, being very aggressive, like I was saying. Um, yeah, for sure. It is it is uh, frustrating that not everyone was aware of the dampening change at the start of that. That's something that definitely the everyone should have been uh, aware of. Um, I'm not sure where the where the issue fell in there, but um, still, it has been resulting in some. Well, I, I don't even know that's been resulting in some in, in game. Like I, I feel like a lot of these matches it hasn't even been a factor. Like that last series that we watched, both wins uh, from. Uh, excuse me, from waiting for dampening were within the first like 20 seconds of the match. So uh, it certainly wasn't a factor there, but uh, maybe in a couple of other matches earlier on, it, it could have been a could have been a factor. Either way, um, we've been seeing some intense ma like we've seen now three matches where someone died in the opener, I believe. Yeah, um, definitely. Not what you would expect at a tournament level, but it can happen. Um, when procs line up, when you've got every damage modifier up at the same time, things like that can happen. And teams, I'm not sure if they're not necessarily prepared for it, um, but it's definitely something that you wouldn't necessarily expect. Yeah, for so. sure. Yeah, especially with the way that... Um, I'm not as familiar with how things are working on the EU ladder at the moment, but I know in the North American ladder at the top ends of play, everyone wants to play really, really long matches. So they want to sit back and uh, like wait for dampening, essentially, which is, I think it's hilarious that the team named Waiting for Dampening is the one that's scored the two, uh, the two like intro opener kills already so far. Um, but I, I know that a lot of teams... Uh, just would not be ready for someone like you, you're just you're just used to playing against people that want to drag out the matches as long as you can, uh, and when you you come up against it's just unfamiliar. Maybe not even unfamiliar so much as just something that you don't have to deal with as often, to the point that it's just you, you just sort of sit there and scramble and maybe don't necessarily have the ability to uh, do everything that you can that you can uh, do to survive it. We did see definitely. Um, Welcome to EU was able to live through that opener in one of their matches, uh, and they took that match, I, I think, pretty convincingly once it got to that point. Like, once they survived that, uh, from then on, there were, there were definitely tense moments, but I feel like they had the advantage for most of the time. But once, uh, once again, the next match, uh, uh, Miro and the RMP were able to just completely destroy uh, someone on... Uh, someone on that team in the opener. So sorry guys, one second. We're just trying to get the next match uh, queued up here. Trying to get through these games as quickly as possible. Um, just just seeing what, what needs to be done to make sure that we can get to this next game. 
Yeah. Um, I've got a lot of interesting stories as far as to where this team is. So I'm trying to sort that out. They're still not on the line. So. Okay. Just clarifying what is being said and making sure that the right people are saying it because so far I've heard nothing from the team itself. I've heard comments from other players. So I would like to see the team themselves say that what's going on before <laughs> yeah. I go and say, oh, this is this. Yeah. <laughs> um, we would we would like to be jumping into the next series here of Say GG Please, consisting of Wizardo, Trees, and Rainy playing that shatter play, going up against Blindness All of Macrosina. No, sorry. Yes, going up against Blindness All, uh, Macrosina, Fritteris, and Ludix playing the Jungle Cleave. That is the series I would like to go in. That is the series I would like to get started. Um, but we're having, again, some interesting um, issues as far as being able to start that. Um, it would be nice to be able to start shortly or at least get some information as to whether mm -hmm. or not they are going to be continuing. So real briefly while we wait here, just to bring everyone up to speed who may not have been here from the start of the tournament yet today. Uh, round one, we saw Welcome to EU take two games off of uh, to go 2-0 against Say GG Please. There were, uh, it, it, as we've been saying, that was a 2-0 that was sort of deceptive in that there was a lot of tense moments there for Welcome to EU, but they were able to take both games uh, and move on. Uh, and then Waiting for Dampening went 2-0 against Blindness All, uh, Waiting for Dampening being the one of the teams we were just watching. Of course, Welcome to EU being the other one as well. Um, that would be uh, the RMP that we just watched going up against the Jungle Cleave of Blindness All. They were able to beat them. Uh, then we saw Halinka plays Lock Shaman up against uh, Blue Laguna. That's the LSD2 versus um, uh, the God Comp from uh, Halinka plays Lock Shaman, or the Shatter Play, however you want to say that. Um, and then we saw Haxan Cleave up against Last WMD. Uh, and Haxan Cleave played those pretty well. Um, it was it was definitely uh, I'm trying to remember exactly how that match went down. Uh, I think I think we just saw some really really strong C. Yeah, that was the one. There was really strong CC coming out of Hax and Cleave at key moments to be able to take that victory against Last WMD. Uh, of course, the last match that we just watched was Welcome to EU versus Waiting for Dampening, uh, and that was a two one for Waiting for Dampening. Uh, both wins that they got just killed someone on Welcome to EU. The first time it was Minpoike, uh, and the second time I believe it was uh, Walrix yeah. that they were able to kill. Yeah. So uh, just really, really fast wins for those two wins. Uh, the, the one that Welcome to EU won, they were able to survive that ridiculous opener uh, and be able to take it to a longer game and eventually take the win that way. Uh, so Welcome to EU still looking really, really scary in this tournament, waiting for Dampening playing incredibly well as well. Uh, and we're hoping to be able to move on in the uh, uh, in the lower bracket here and start getting some matches going. Yeah, um, uh, we've we've got some interesting things here as far as I'm I'm just trying to affirm an answer before I say it. But as it's looking right now, um, the team of say GG please will be um, disqualified, and unfortunately, the last WMD is having computer problems with their warrior, so they're going to be unable to play. So, as a result, if these are the affirmed answers, um, Halinka plays Lock Shaman will move forward um, to fight against uh, Welcome to EU. Or we, mm, yes, that, that's right, that's right. Halinka plays Lock Shaman versus Welcome to EU, and then we need to play one more winner's bracket of Blue Laguna versus Hacks and Cleave to decide. Um, who's going to move into the semifinals for that, and the next team to move down to the losers bracket? And that should be the way we're going. I'm just going to uh, affirm that that's what we're doing. So, yep. Always unfortunate when we have issues like this, but uh, we do want to make sure that we're bringing games to you guys as quickly as possible. So we will get that sorted out and get some more games going here as soon as we possibly can. Yeah, and we're, that means we're going to have to move on to... LSD2 versus Haxon Cleave. Mm -hmm. That will be Blue Laguna, uh, which was the winners of the previous tournament, uh, versus Haxon Cleave. That was the WLS that took out uh, last WMD before. Um, 
So that that's that's going to be a really cool match, I think. Um, LSD versus LSD two, excuse me, versus WLS. It's basically the same comp with a, a like obviously Lock Shaman are the same, but you have a caster versus a, you have the balance druid, excuse me, versus the the warrior and the other team. And that does that one change changes so much about the way you actually want to play that match. Um, I believe this is the first Warlock versus Warlock match that we'll have as well, so there should be two gateways available, which is, uh, it, it's always interesting if, uh, it's because it sort of negates the gateway in a sense, in that now if you gate and the other guy has his gateway down in the same spot, he can just gate over as well. Um, I feel like that puts a little bit of an advantage here. Uh, man, it's hard, to, it's hard to call this, this comp matchup. Um, honestly, Blue Laguna has been playing so incredibly well that personally I feel like they have a slight advantage here. But uh, Hexon Cleave did really well in, in their match also. So I'm, I'm really, really excited to see how this works. Yeah, and I've got both teams ready as far as I understand. So we're going to be jumping right into Nagran Arena with this LSD2 versus WLS, as you were saying. Um, it's definitely one of the, I think it's a matchup that the victor isn't decided predeterminately. Sure. It's gonna de it's gonna depend on which team has more pressure. Um, of course, procs have a lot to do with momentum, so we're gonna have to see if a skitch is gonna get some prey to his RNG gods. <laughs> um, see if the star surges fly from him because that could turn a game around pretty quickly, as we've seen. Uh, but we're gonna move. We're gonna jump right in. Sorry for the delay. Um, we have unfortunately had some disqualifications and teams drop out due to technical difficulties. But we are gonna continue moving forward into this next series. Um, it's definitely going to be, I think it's going to be an interesting match. I love watching Boomkins because I play a Boomkin. Maybe that's biased, but uh, <laughs> a Skitch definitely playing the spec as well as I would argue could be played. Um, so it's going to be interesting. And maybe you just want to start this off for us. Sure. I'm going to be following uh, Haxan out of the gate here just to see if he's going to try to interrupt that gateway. It's going to be interesting if he does uh, because that would put a uh, uh, excuse me, his team is the only one with a gateway if he can interrupt theirs, uh, but maybe the other team will try to do the same thing and, uh, oops, my, my view just changed there. It does not look like he's going to go in there and try to interrupt the gateway. He's just going to sit back here for a second as Kitch moving out, uh, going to try and start getting his dots up as much as he possibly can. Yeah, um, the LSD2, he has the, the trinket proc as Kitch does, so he's going to want to go here. Uh, he's getting the clone out onto Haxon, though. He's going to feel for his team, uh, but the walk is going to port back here. He's got his blood horror up but a sketch is disengaging in here. He wants to get something rolling. Uh, but a full storm, storm, oh my God, full storm bolt onto a sketch. Uh, he's gonna have to sit that. The starfall now coming out. Uh, the WLS is not dotted though. They, they're gonna have to get their dots rolling. The demon soul does come out. Uh, Cyclone's being thrown around onto Dogfish on his demon soul. Dogfish is gonna trinket that. He wants to get his damage rolling onto Looney, and Looney is definitely the target of choice. He's gonna use that stone form. The death coil coming out. Uh, he's, he's incredibly low here. 200,000 HP. 100,000 HP. He might have to link. He's gonna trinket. He's gonna trinket link, but he's in a hex right now. A skish, although it's gonna pop his celestial alignment. He's gonna try to turn it around. Let's see if the procs can line up here for him. Uh, he's gonna get put into that storm bolt fear. Uh, Tebow's gonna win wide out of that root. He's going to get Shadow Fury, though, into a fear. Tremor that instantly. Uh, both teams rotting incredibly low here. Tebow into a full hex, though. Uh, amongst all of that, Looney able to get a hex that's incredibly skillful. Uh, both teams dipping incredibly low to, to the amount of dot pressure that's being put out. Tebow into the disorienting roar, um, but a Skitch is also dipping incredibly low. I, I really feel like Looney is the target of choice, but he's just gated away, so he's going to be completely safe. And Haxon, he's getting proc and he's dipping incredibly low. 160k HP. A full fear on the Tebow. He cannot Tremor it. 250,000 HP. Um, but a Defensive Shockwave coming out onto Red Hot. That's going to keep Haxon alive for now. Um, Dogfish getting out of that fear. It's going to break to damage. Um, but Looney doing a good job staying away. The Demon Soul coming out from Dogfish, though. Looney's the target. He's in a Storm Bolt. Haxon is connecting into the, into the Death Coil. Uh, 250,000 HP here. He gets the Stampeding Roar from Eskitch. Uh, nice teamwork between those guys. They're going to be able to get out alive here. Yeah, it was very, very nice. Uh, just situational awareness there from a sketch, being able to get that stampeding roar and let Looney get out of there. Uh, Dogfish actually taking a bunch of damage here. He's going to go back behind this. He's going to get rooted over here. Uh, does seem to be relatively stable. There's the dark regen coming out to try and top himself back up. He does get cycloned inside that though, so he's not going to get the healing from that. Very good cyclone there. A sketch taking a bunch of damage. Did get feared there for a second, but it looks like he's going to be fine. Haxon taking a whole lot of damage, dipping down 100,000 health there for a moment. He's going to gate out of there, try to get out of line of sight. He's got full dots. No, he's not line of sighting, excuse me. He's going right after uh, Red Hot over here. Um, but yeah, it looks uh, like... Red Hot. 
I'm sorry, Red Hot is definitely the target of choice here. He's got his Demon Soul up, so they're trying to mitigate that. Um, the Healing Tide coming out from Looney, he, he feels like he needs that for the, the pressure that's coming out. Um, so it's, it's going to keep his team topped. Uh, Dogfish in a lot of trouble, though. Uh, about half HP. Tebow's not so easy. Now he's NS cloned. Um, Spell Reflect coming up from Hax, and he's trying to peel for his team, but Dogfish is just taking so much damage. Uh, but Hax is going to connect to Looney. Looney's not out of the woods. He's into the death code. 250,000 HP. Any CC out of that, and he might go down 300,000 HP. But a Skitch as well, he's rotting to the deep wounds and dots applied to him. Uh, Looney's just doing his best to run away, but this warrior is just connecting to him the whole time. Um, a Skitch and Red Hot into that Howl of Terror. Looney unable to save them. Red Hot choosing to trick it. But a Skitch getting swapped to He's going to be put into the full shockwave. Um, Haxon, though, dipping incredibly low. Dogfish rotting as well. Um, Tebow just not getting put into any CC, though. I think he's going to be able to pick his team up with that Unleash Hill. Uh, Barks can coming out from a sketch. He realizes that he's in trouble. And Looney is at 40,000 mana. He needs to get a drink. I don't know how this LSD2 is going to be able to recover from this position. Yeah, they do have some cooldowns about to come up, but they may not be up in time. Looney dipping super low, Red Hot dipping super low. Hexen getting a little bit low as well, but not nearly as much. Looney getting out of line of sight back here to try and get some heals off. But is it going to be enough? Uh, Red Hot out in the open getting feared away. Hexen taking damage. There was a Cyclone there on Dogfish for just a second, which is just enough to help Looney get a little bit more healing out. But his mana is just getting so super low. He's way behind Tebow in terms of mana. Like, just ridiculous, the difference here. Looney dipping low again. Gonna take some damage here, gonna pop his ascendants, try to get out of line of sight, or excuse me, not to, out of line of sight, yeah, there we go. Does take the uh, the Ghost Wolf there for a second, but no, comes right back into it. Ascendants enough to be able to top off his team a little bit. Dogfish dipping super low now as well as, uh, as Haxon. And a sketch using that cat form, Heart of the Wild, getting the rake up on the dogfish. He's taking an incredible amount of dot damage. Tebow in the full hex. Hax and Ronnie as well. Um, a skish used Heart of the Wild there. So if they don't get a kill, he doesn't have that many defensives left. Uh, but a full clone on a Tebow. Is he going to sit it? He's choosing to sit it right now. He feels like his team is okay. But a skish is using that cat form, Heart of the Wild. He's doing so much damage to dogfish right now. Uh, but Red Hot at the same time, 200,000 HP. Hax and connecting to him. The healing tide totem being thrown around. Uh, but Red Hot not out of the woods. He's got that demon soul up. He's got the healing cooldowns up. He should should be able to recover, um, but Heart of the Wild is just fading from a skitch, so he's not going to have that available. Ascendance is on cooldown. Spirit Walker's Grace as well on cooldown. Uh, so this LC2 could be in a lot of trouble. The Demon Soul coming from a skit, or sorry, from Dogfish. Uh, hacks into that full clone, though. He's not going to be able to connect, uh, but a full solar beam on the back. Entire team of this WLS into, into Lunar Eclipse. There's going to be a Starfall. A lot of damage coming out here very shortly. Um, and the entire team rotting. Tebow using that Aura Master. He's trying to pick his team up, but the entire team is just rotting so hard. Uh, Stormbolt onto a sketch, I believe he's dipping to about half HP. Um, Tebow trying desperately to heal him, but he's just got no mana left. A sketch just turning in the middle of the map, though. Dogfish has to port back. He's going to be able to recover. A sketch at 190,000 HP. Hacks it into the full clone, though. He's not able to connect. He's choosing to sit that. Tebow into a full howl terror. It's going to break that ascendance out from Tebow. He should be able to pick his team up with a splash healing. And Looney now, he's on the back foot. Hacks in at about half HP. Hacks in connecting to Looney. Looney's in trouble here. He's at about half HP. He's going to stone form. He's going to have to get out, but he's put into a shockwave. He's choosing not to trinket. Uh, will he be able to recover here? 300,000 HP into the death coil. Stormbolt onto a skitch. A lot of damage onto Looney. Full fear onto a skitch and Looney's going to tremor that instantly. Uh, Tebow dispelling UA there. Haxon, he's not dotted right now. He gets put into the disorienting roar. Hopefully a full cyclone. Yes, a full cyclone comes out. He's going to trinket that though. Healing Tide plopped down by Looney. He should be able to pick himself up. Again, nice stampeding roar onto Looney so he's able to kite. Um, but no dots onto the WLS. I think they're going to be okay here. Yeah, and definitely, he, I was watching a sketch the whole time, just standing really, really close to Looney, just in case Looney needed to drop that, uh, that Spirit Link Totem. He was able to save it. That is now available for him as well as this continues on. He's going to gate out of there, going to be totally fine for now. Tebow taking a whole lot of damage over here, uh, dipping down to about 200,000. Askitch taking damage as well. This whole team, like, everybody is just in such a precarious position right now. Askitch topped back off in a hurry there. I'm not sure exactly what that was. Looney's spending a whole lot of mana to keep everyone alive. Tebow in a Cyclone. Dogfish taking a whole lot of damage, getting down to about 20, uh, 250,000 there. He's going to use his Dark Regen again. Haxon rotting as well. This is just a, such a tense matchup here between everybody, like, just so low on health all the time. I feel like Blue Lagoon is get a little bit ahead. Hax is getting so low there for a second, uh, but he is going to get top back off again. It does look like he popped the shield wall there, uh, and Tebow now taking damage as well. This is just, this is, this is intense right now.
Yeah, dampening is kicking in. We're seven minutes in. Nice clone onto Haxon on that recklessness, trying to negate that damage because dampening is starting to take a toll here. Um, Lumi is actually able to recover some mana amongst all of that chaos. Uh, Dogfish dipping to about half HP. A Skitch is going to be shooting those star surges at Haxon. Haxon has no wall. He pops to die by the sword. But uh, Skitch is taking so much damage. He's choosing to go aggressive with the uh, social alignment. Haxon realizing this, he's going to play defensively in line of sight. Um, hopefully, a Shadow Fury, though, under the entire WLS. Tebow in a full hex. Haxon has to use the Rallying Cry. Is it enough? He might just go down now. A full fear on the Tebow. 90,000 HP. If that Rallying Cry falls off, he will die. 100,000 HP. It's about to fall. A 60k is going to go down. <laughs> oh, man. That Rallying Cry falling off. If it had lasted it just a half a second longer, I feel like Tebow may have been able to make something happen there. But, it, unfortunately, it fell off. Dropped him down to, to no health. Uh, and Haxon was the first to fall in that matchup, meaning that Blue Laguna will take this first match against Haxon Cleave. Yeah, uh, and definitely a very up and down match. Every single team member not knowing whether or not they're going to be dead. The next <laughs> so very entertaining to watch. And we already have a map selection, um, Dalaran Arena from the WLS. They feel that gives them the advantage. I believe that's the best map choice. I, I feel like Looney yeah, sure. is their only real kill opportunity so picking a map where looney has the least mobility is the is to the best of their interest so we're going to be jumping right away into this as soon as i get their names plugged in uh, but definitely an amazing first game from both teams uh, unfortunately that rallying cry falling off at a little bit of an inopportune time and yeah. the lsc2 is able to secure the win off of it yeah, for sure. There were definitely moments on either side of that where someone would have come down. Uh, a sketch was just getting super low regularly there, um, as well as um, as Looney. So uh, we'll see what Hax and Cleave can do this time around. Yeah. Um, again, I don't think either team necessarily made a lot of mistakes. Just that change with dampening, obviously having a toll there it's going to be nerfing a lot of the healing as far as second wind and riptide and healing streams are concerned so maybe not being used to taking that much damage that early had could have been a factor i believe that game was at almost eight minutes in which dampening would have been about 15 percent 12 to 15 percent yeah something so, like that yeah um but we're going to start the next game Dalaran Arena, uh, the map choice of the WLS, I feel like opportunity is on Looney. So we're going to have to see how Looney can handle the pressure. He did an amazing job healing basically on Vapor. Uh, yeah. Just completely oom the whole time um, and keeping his team alive. So we're going to have to see how well he can deal with that pressure. Um, and we're going to have to see if this WLS can connect. But the game's going to be starting here in 3, 2, 1. Uh, we're going to be starting off right away. Let's see if Haxon chooses to just leap on in here. Uh, he's going to play a little bit more conservative, stay in the back, but that means he's going to get fully dotted here. He gets dispelled, though, by Tebow. He's going to connect onto a Skitch. Um, Demon Soul being thrown out by Red Hot, though, but he gets feared on it. Um, he's not he's not getting tremored out of that. A Stormbolt onto Looney, uh, but a nice uh, bear root onto Haxon. It's going to lock him down, but Looney is the target of choice, as I was saying, but Haxon's just getting rooted so much, he's not able to connect uh, right now. Um, Celestial alignment coming out from a Skitch. He's going to be doing a lot of damage. Tebow, he, he's staying by the pillar, but Haxon to being low. Looney to being low. The Aura Mastery comes out. Haxon, 150,000 HP. The entire team rotting on both sides. Uh, full Demon Souls dots by both Warlocks, um, but Tebow choosing to dispel uh, he's going to use that Spirit Walker's Grace. Healing Tide out from Looney. Tebow in the root beam behind the pillar with Ascendance. Uh, he's going to be able to pick up as soon as he's not CC'd, but he gets Howl of Terror. He's going to tremor that. Um, but Haxon taking so much damage. A Skish just inside the face of this WLS with his Starfall rolling. He's getting everything going. The pressure is definitely in the favor of the LSD too. But Dogfish here with a nice Howl of Terror and Demon Soul. He's going to try to reverse that. Looney with the Unleash Heal. Um, a Skish realizing this puts Dogfish into the clone to lock down his Demon Soul. Uh, but I think we're going to see a little bit of an even out here unless we get some insane procs. Yeah, definitely. You can see just the ridiculous dot damage coming out of the Blue Laguna team, the LSD2 here. It's just so much work for Tebow to try and keep up with. Just that constant pressure. Even if you line of sight, you've still got so many dots ticking away on you. Uh, Haxon now getting a little bit low again there. Looks like he's going to be fine for now. Tebow taking a whole lot of damage as well. There's a Cyclone on Askitch. Looks like that was spell reflected. Nice spell reflect there from Haxon. Uh, forcing uh, Eskich to just sort of back off for a second. That's exactly what this team needs right now. They need to be able to get back and uh, get themselves recovered a little bit. No, it's definitely interesting to see the LSD too as the aggressor. They land a double fear and they're going to swap to Looney. The fear breaks the damage. Um, 
I really feel like recklessness coming out from Haxen. There's a lot of damage on the Looney potentially. A full hex and death coil on the Looney. Red Hot unable to be dispelled. A Skitch not able to get him. A Looney incredibly low. He's going to gate out of there, get to his pillar, pop his ascendance. Uh, he's going to be able to top his team off, I feel like, behind you with that. With a nice clone onto Haxen. Tebow just taking the time to dispel his dots so his team can get ahead here. Um, but Haxen pushing in here. Nice root beam onto Tebow, though. Hopefully that doesn't break. It does, however, break. But full dots onto the entire WLS. They're going to be rotting incredibly quickly here. A Shadow Fury as well. A Fear on the dogfish unleash coming out from Tebow. He's trying to pick his team up. He's going to use that for the Riptide. Um, but Red Hot with a Demon Soul, he he wants to go. He wants to push for the kill. He's going to trinket that. He's going to get his dots rolling. Haxon dipping incredibly low, 200,000 HP. Tebow not really able to pick him up. His Nature's Guardian already proccing. He's got the Aura Mastery rolling. And as I say that, Red Hot being swapped to, he's dipping to about half HP. A Skitch as well. The entire team on both sides rotting incredibly quickly here. Uh, Haxon at about 200,000 HP. Uh, dogfish pressing his healing clouds. But Looney being swapped to in the Death Coil. He's in a lot of trouble. He's not trinketing Nature's Guardian and Battle Master. A Skitch being possibly swapped through here. He's at 200,000 HP. Red Hot at 300,000. Both teams riding incredibly quickly here. Haxon getting bursted down by the Star Surge is about 250,000 HP. Um, the dots are rolling for both sides. Nice roots onto Haxon, trying to prevent him from tunneling Looney. Uh, but this could go either way at this point. Yeah, definitely. It's just very, very back and forth at this particular moment in time. Haxon taking a whole bunch of damage, dipping low there. Uh, looks like a rounding totem does go out. Uh, and there's a little bit of a fear action there as well. So looks like Haxon Cleave is starting to top off a little bit here. Tebow's starting to get ahead of things a little bit. There's the beam coming down now, though. Red Hot taking a bunch of damage, dipping down to two, uh, about 250,000 there and getting even lower, taking a lot of damage back over here. Uh, looks like he will be able to get topped off there very quickly. That was a lot of healing that uh, Looney had to pump out to top him off there. Uh, but again, this is just... Just, like there's so much damage coming out from both sides uh, I feel like either team is like in danger of death at any particular moment here yeah and the heart of the wild coming out from a skitch for cat form he's getting that rake on the t-ball full maim Oh my god, he has his trinket available, but he's choosing to sit it. I'm not sure if that's the wise decision. Uh, Demon Soul coming from uh, Red Hot, but they get put into the Howl of Terror. Nice Howl of Terror by Dogfish. Trying to peel for Tebow right now. Uh, the LSD2 being very aggressive, just standing in the WLS's face right now. They're trying to get the kill. They're trying to push in here. They're trying to end the game with this Heart of the Wild. Um, but a Shockwave is landed onto Red Hot and a Skitch, I believe. A full Stormbolt onto Looney. A lot of damage on both sides. Tebow dispels UA. He could be swapped to a full clone onto Haxon, a full fear onto Dogfish. Tebow cannot dispel that in a root solar beam to follow it up. Tebow's in a lot of trouble. He's just getting rooted constantly inside of that solar beam, but the healing tide totem is plopped down. It should do a, a significant amount of healing here, but Red Hot popping the Demon Soul. A skitch to be... He's going to pop Celestial Alignment as well. Uh, there's going to be a lot of damage, but they get Hal of Terror on it. Can they break it? Uh, 260,000 HP. Barkskin is forced. There's a lot of damage from both teams here. Dogfish using the Demon Soul. Tebow choosing to spell UA once again. A full clone onto Haxon. He's going to sit that, but Tebow in a lot of trouble here. 200,000 HP fully dotted. Dogfish gets MCS there. He's as well fully dotted just so much rot pressure the ascendant spirit walker's grace is forced from tebow haxon is going to trinket that full hex realizing that tebow is unable to dispel he's completely out of mana and he needs to heal but he just can't find it he's healing on vapor the man has definitely switched around from the first match tebow completely home star switch procs are coming in he's gonna have to battle master it he's incredibly low here but looney into the death coil 180,000 hp uh nature's i'm sorry uh Guardian is procced, 100,000 HP. Can they continue to connect? Recklessness is blown. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to continue the pursuit, though. The entire team of the WS to be incredibly low. Uh, Tebow at 50k HP. The, the link comes up, and the Guardian, and the Rallying Cry. So much damage on both sides. Yeah, they feel like they're definitely on their last legs here with Tebow's mana so low. They're just taking so much damage. They've used all their cooldowns. This entire team is about to die at the same time. Tebow below 100,000 health. Can he be able to top himself back off here again? No, he's in a hex. He's taking so much damage down. 10,000 health. I can't even make words happen at this point. There's so much damage coming out for the team. How did he How did he heal for that much? I don't know what's happening. Hax is taking so much damage. Tebow's getting low as well. Askitch taking some damage as well, but it looks like, jeez, uh, this Hax and Cleave is just under so much pressure right now, and Tebow at only 30,000 mana, I don't know how he's getting so much mana back, he's, he's just barely he's just barely able to heal himself up from that. Yeah, uh, Red Hot using those healing clans, so 90k HP, he's in trouble here, Looney has to drink it, he possibly has to link here. Uh, he's going to drop the link. Yeah, he's going to be able to save his team here. Now Tebow is on the back foot. He has no defensive cooldowns available. If Red Hot can connect, Tebow could go down here. But Dogfish with the Demon Soul. A full shockwave onto, sh onto Red Hot and Looney. They're both taking so much damage. Um, the NS coming out there. They're trying to stay alive. A skitch at 250,000 HP. Red Hot at 250,000 HP. Dogfish at 50k HP. He could go down right now, and he does. Wow, I feel like Tebow was starting to get some mana back there, but unfortunately, just a little bit too much that C 
CC at that last second there was just too much for him to be able to deal with. And unfortunately, uh, for, unfortunately for them, looks like uh, Blue Laguna is going to take this match 2-0. A very, very close 2-0. Yeah, definitely a very uh, entertaining series as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, both teams, they, they know how to do damage. Um, I feel like the WLS maybe needed to take a bit of the more aggressive stance to be able to win. It felt like they were running away most of the time. Um, Haxon wasn't able to connect. And, I mean, you can't really see that in his overall damage on the meter. He did a significant amount of damage even though he was playing defensive. Um, but either way, the LSD2 performing well here against this WLS, it could have gone either way. I feel like it could have gone either way. One shockwave to Death Coil on Looney, he can die. A Skitch can die as well in a stun. Um, but the LSD2 is going to persevere. They're going to take the win here. They're going to progress into the semifinals, I believe, to fight up against uh, Waiting for Dampening. Um, but we're going we're gonna to save that series for a little later. We're going to be jumping into our loser's bracket, which I believe should be... I don't have it open here. I'm not sure if you have the bracket open. Yeah, uh, we'll have Welcome to EU versus Holinka Plays Lock Shaman. Um, and then Hax and Cleave just dropping down, um, I believe will be, uh, if, uh, I'm not sure what ended up happening with say GG please, um, if they're out of the tournament or not at this point. Um, I, I, I seem to recall that they, they were, uh, which would put Hax and Cleave up against, uh, blind this all, but, uh, we'll have to get confirmation on that. Um, let me, yeah, let me make sure. Um, uh, maybe you just want to talk about the pro game X tournament and the features they have to offer while I try to figure this out with the admins. Sure. So let's go ahead and take another look over here at the Pro Game X website. If you sign up on this website, uh, you click this Wow button. It'll ask you to to set up uh, various games. You click this Wow button. They do have several services available uh, at the moment. There is this coaching available. Um, it's sold out at the moment, but uh, it should be available again at some point. Um, it does. It is something that uh, it's some uh, that this this website will actually provide is is coaching on just how to be how to be better at the actual game. So that's that's a really cool service. It's something that I've seen happen in a lot of other esports, and it's cool to see it happening in World of Warcraft as well. So definitely check out ProGameX.com. All right, we're gonna take a quick one minute break here, uh, and we will be right back with some more games. <laughs> Once again, uh, with some good news, it seems like uh, Say GG Please was able to get their issues sorted uh, and will be able to play their match. So uh, we should be seeing Say GG Please versus Blind This All. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, that, that's the matchup that we're going to be moving forward into. I think a couple teams might be caught off guard and not necessarily prepared for that okay. as, far as, the, as far as the decisions. Uh, one team is ready. Um, we're just waiting for um, Say GG. Um, their Shadow Priest is currently BRB, so we're just going to be waiting for that. I'm going to get them ready to queue up, though, in the meantime, while we wait for him to come back.